I saw these foil trays at the dollar store. I'm gonna start by creating a pattern out of paper. I wanna make eight of these petals and then I'm gonna make one a little smaller. This is gonna be the middle of my flower. Now it's time to add the petals to the cardboard circle. Bend up the edges. So I'm gonna paint them all red. I'm gonna cut out two leaves for each of the flowers. I'm gonna add some salt wash to the paint and I'll mix it all in, making sure to get lots of texture. It's time to add the leaves and centers. We're going to go and cut a stress ball in half. Now we're going to cut just about three to five pieces of this. Now what I'm cutting is I'm cutting a point to the front of this and then at the end I'm leaving it a little bit blocky. Now that all of your petals and leaves are cut out, we're going to go and start to use some wire reinforcement. Cutting it down, leaving just about an inch, a small piece of a cut sheet of this yellow paper and we're going to cut these little lines down. We're going to go and twist each of these cut areas and we're going to go and lay this around the entire piece. Now we're going to go and start to glue the petals and take some more green paper. Then I went and I wrapped it with some floral tape. The largest one in the center and the two small ones at the sides. I'm just going to cut the full loop. I've cut my craft paper, I've made sure it overlaps a little bit. I'm going to crunch it up. I am going to just rip it into strips. I'm going to take my pool noodle and I'm just going to draw around it in a circle time. I've got some tacky glue, so just a quick drop of water and I'm going to give it my to add some glue around this top area. And I'm literally going to just get to the end and pop a little bit of glue there, add some glue to this top part here, pop that onto there, take a couple of pieces of TP and I'm going to lightly cover my birch tree, pull it all the way, apply a little bit of artistic license here. This. So I'm going to start thinking about making some of those little birch tree marks. Save those cardboard boxes and make this. I started by wrapping a single sheet of cardboard in marble paper. Then I grabbed two rectangular boxes and I'm going to wrap these in the brick paper. Then I'm going to grab another square piece of cardboard and wrap that in brick as well. Now let's put it together. I've got a base, two sides, a back, and a mantle. Now let's decorate it. I want to put some logs in my fireplace. Now I can just place these in my fireplace. They are pretty lightweight so I might use some scotch tape to keep them in place. I'm going to grab some fairy lights, some battery operated lights. Save your pickle jars, especially the large ones. They can make beautiful seasonal decor. Put it in a bath of warm, soapy water. Make sure you get that pickle odor out of there. Take that label right off. Start by grabbing a roll of contact paper. Cut out a little star shape, and I'm just gonna trace it onto the contact paper. And I'm gonna cut out about a dozen stars in different sizes. Peel the back off and place them all around your pickle jar. Once all the stars are placed, it's time to paint this. We are going to use a frosted glass spray paint. So once you've got two coats on there, grab a tweezer and we're gonna pull off those stars right away. I'm gonna use some rope from the dollar store and a Christmas sprig with some red berries and some green leaves. Once all the embellishments are on, I'm gonna use a battery powered tea light to drop on the inside. paint this with Wise Owls Toxicus's paint and Antique Via. So I've painted around the entire box, right? Recycled trolley crate decoupage paper is what we're gonna be using today. I'm gonna take this plastic wrap and I'm just gonna like ball it up and make myself like a little pad. I'm gonna do this in sections. So I'm gonna put this first row down. Now I'm gonna have a few wrinkles, but I'm not gonna stress about those because once the paper dries, those wrinkles will go away. Fold this back and do the next section. Let's get the rest of this decoupaged. We painted in a little bit on the insides of these. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little product along here. And um, I'm gonna fold this paper over. Um, so I'm just gonna go along the corner here and I'm able to trim both pieces of paper at the same time. I'm just gonna kind of decoupage it and lay it down and it's barely noticeable. And decoupage these bottom flaps down under my box. Just take that long tube that you got from the wrapping paper and you're going to cut it right in half. Here's our paper towel holder. We're going to just keep cutting tubes until we go all the way up to the top of our tree. Once we got all of those cut out, let's put the trunk on. Next, we're going to grab some fabric. This fabric's going to roll over the tube. Once you get that cut out, run you a bead of hot glue 
down the cardboard tube. Roll the tube right into place. On the outside, just put a bead of glue and just start tucking it in. Once we got at least two tubes that are covered in the fabric, run a bead of glue, put these two tubes together, just keep on going, and I use some burlap also in there to intermingle. Last but not least, look at that trunk. Let's grab us a paint stick, put some glue on the back side, turn it over, and that is gonna get pressed onto the fabric and it's gonna give it some stiffness. Now we're gonna flip it back over. It's time to decorate. Paint this inside part with some dark blue acrylic paint. Once this was dry, I've cut the edges of the plate off. Got here some copper acrylic paint. I'm gonna stencil through. So once it was dry, I took a pencil and drew around the contours of this stencil. And now I'm cutting it out. I have some just regular Elms glue. And I'm going to add to that some glitter and paint it all over my snowflake. Leave that to dry. I'm going to put a little dab of glue and then stick it on my snowflake. Pick up six clear plastic punch bowls from Dollar Tree. Cut a round hole in the bottom of each punch bowl and then glue the bowls together top to top with hot glue. Take the six attached bowls and then glue the bases of the bowls together so that you have three bowl balls stacked vertically. Take an LED fairy light strand, wrap the string lights around a wood dowel and thread them through the center holes. Distribute the fairy lights into each bowl. Place the bowl stack on top of a planter of choice. Hot glue the bow. Dollar Tree and pick up two paper towel holders. Guide the centerpiece of the towel holder through the floral foam. Begin adding florals to the base. Stack the second paper towel holder directly on top and add more florals to it to cover the foam entirely. Take a strand of gems and attach to the top of the stacked paper towel holders. Attach it to the top of the paper towel holder base. Open the tea light package and remove your tea lights. Pull gently on the wick Place as many tea lights as you think you need in the saucepan and bring the water to a boil. Pour enough wax on the parchment paper to surround your cookie cutter and then set your cookie cutter on the wax and press down. Fill in the cookie cutters almost to the very top. Now the wicks on the Dollar Tree tea lights are really short, so I waited to add them to the top layer of the wax. I added the faux snow to the melted wax and poured that onto the very top layer. You can pop off the excess wax, place my cookie cutters on a Pyrex pie plate. I took a length of garland and made it into a, a wreath shape. Let me show you how I turned a couple glass bowls into these Pottery Barn dupes. Put one coat of spray paint and primer on the bowls. With the rub and buff, I was able to put on one layer and achieve the aged look that I wanted. Turn it over and then paint the bottom the other side of your bowls. I cut the ring off the pacifier and snapped a small piece of the shower curtain ring off and glued them. Here I used wax cubes, melted them down, and then you pour that into the bowl. For your wicks, you can get a kit off of Amazon and use the popsicle sticks with the hole to help make sure that your wicks stand up straight. Mm -hmm. 